What's up with it? This is Ryan Ford. I'm making a video to talk about uh, where I am with Melee during this time. Um, originally, I was going to make a twit longer, but then I decided to do a video instead. Um, I wrote most of this down a couple weeks ago so that I'm not just talking all over the place and have this become a really long video. Um, also, I'm guessing only like 30 people or so are going to actually care to follow this. And if you do, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you only really care about the melee aspect, that's why I'm not entering stuff. Um, I'll mention it in a timestamp later, um, after I finish, uh, recording this. So I'm gonna try and do this in one take, just to not have to edit and stuff, because I'm lazy. So yeah, um, social aspect of, of stuff, um, well, it's hard not to give examples without singling out one person or a situation in recent, because... Um, this is built up over like several different situations over a lot of time, so I won't be expanding too hard on it. Um, so honestly, almost every time I open Twitter, um, it just makes me not want to think about the game. Like, I wasn't really involved with Smash Reddit, since it never seemed like a good place to be, but um, it seems very similar to what that's like and from what I hear all the time. So yeah, most of the stuff I'm interested in following, like, nowadays just breeds negativity, hate, and misunderstanding. Um, this pandemic as well is definitely making a lot of people let out pent-up stuff that they felt about situations over time. And it's basically just like a mudslinging fest. Um, this is not only just the Melee community for this one, but uh, it is the one that I follow the most compared to other ones, even though I see it in other, like, communities and stuff too. Honestly, I think that a lot of people just love to hate and want to be angry and miserable as a habit. Um, I think some people just have like nothing better to do with their time and want to feel self-important or relevant or credited or just to see the world burn. Uh, it makes me think that people are probably just not meant to understand each other outside of whatever perceptions decided by whoever is more important. And um, I should also mention that it's not now, this isn't about the people that like got banned or canceled over the summer when all the reveals were going down because um i think that's a uh, actually a good direction to go in and um it'll probably create a better future for like a lot of different communities with like you know prevention cases and like learning from prior mistakes and things like that so anyways moving on uh yeah people hating other people for their success or their come up or their character while knowing nothing about the person, but they're able to, like, judge who they are somehow. That bothers me a lot. I don't like how people can just legit hate somebody without a reason. And it happens a lot. No. Some, a lot of it's not my place to speak on, so I won't expand on that either. But it's just an extra reason to mention. Yeah, some people, like, honestly, some people, like, low-key, like, hate me for my body. Body shape and skin color. And also receiving death, death threats is not fun. I still have some of them saved on like Facebook Messenger and stuff like that. But actually maybe I should delete them so I don't ever see them again. But whatever. Um, often I find myself uh, getting kind of bored and annoyed playing Melee. And yeah, part of it's influenced by like the social aspect of it. Like there's a lot, there would be a lot to go over. But like, I don't know, it's just hard to look at social media and even like some streams due to like i don't know smash politics false narratives bandwagging dogpiling sheeping about a lot of stuff and um a lot of times it's just like a repetitive cycle of like crap every time you like look at your social media it's like probably some kind of same shit different person type thing um yeah, my local stuff, like, I didn't really connect with, like, much of my local community over the last couple of years. Like, most of the people I hung out with aren't really active, aren't really active and haven't been, like, pre-pandemic. But yeah, I do have the merit of being a uh, top 100 consistently, so kind of creates an odd relationship where, I don't know, honestly, I feel like I'm just a number or, like, a stepping stone to a lot of people, since I'm, like, good, but, like, not near the top. So I'm not, like, respected like the other top players. Or if I lose to, like, their favorite players, then, I don't know, people feel justified to, like, treat me shitty and stuff like that. 
um also we're in the era where like everyone uh everyone wants to be famous so you know kind of have to deal with it a lot more though what is good about people like having that drive like wanting to be famous is that uh a lot of people don't have like that defeatist attitude like back uh i don't know back like around the documentary time and before that where like people had kind of like given up before the sets even started so it is good for that and it's gonna i think that drive will keep uh melee going going for a large number of years because melee scene can't thrive without people so you do need people that are hungry but i don't like being treated shit so that's another thing and yeah, so the melee gameplay. Um, so I kind of have this analogy where I was hanging out with a friend a long time ago, and he kept uh, like habitually checking the fridge every few minutes while we were talking. So then, um, yeah, after like the sixth or seventh time uh, that I noticed, then he was like, <laughs> then we joked about how he was hoping that something new would be in the fridge. So um, I feel like I keep falling into my own trap, like going on to like netplay and then hoping that my experience would be better but um in the middle of like when i was doing this write-up though um i did manage to uh overclock my uh controller adapter so my execution is a lot better which uh does make that nicer whereas before it was like i don't know literally every like every three inputs would just like be wrong but now it's like a lot better than that um so yeah is the answer to the question that i get asked like i don't know semi daily on average through like dms or on my stream and stuff like that so uh why am i not why am i not entering online tournaments or people messaging asking or asking or telling me to enter their tournament and then when i say i can't then they ask why so i can't enter because my internet sucks and during peak internet hours um the tournaments are usually during peak internet hours and like i don't know basically net play is like borderline unplayable at that point for me so either i would just get dq'd from lagging or lose lose to lag even if it's not on my end also like i really sometimes i end up like having to play laggy opponents in like the couple of events i entered um yeah, and also getting camped in lag is a nightmare. Holy, holy moly. Um, I also don't want to be that guy who enters um events like while knowing knowing that it could be laggy at any time or just like disconnect for no reason. And like often you'll see in people's like chats or like again on socials when like someone gets like called up for being laggy, then people are like, Why is this person entering when they know that they're laggy? Which Yeah, I don't enter because I know that i'm gonna be laggy like i'm gonna make i don't want to like have a crappy experience like in an event and also make make the experience crappy for someone else like even if i win it's like i'm not gonna enjoy like playing playing it anyway and yeah it just feels dishonest to me to like enter when i know that i'm probably gonna be a lagger anyway um though i know a lot of people in my shoes would just enter anyway but i don't know i feel like it's just a difference in our natures and like what lines we're willing to cross and yeah adding on to that um due to my home situation it's very unlikely that i'll uh have my internet upgraded to a reasonable amount in the near future so yeah that kind of ties into this next part that i'm going to mention so i have nothing to grind for i don't have any any goals to aim for like the crappy crappy internet and no IRL competition, like, kind of just kills my mood to play the game, for the most part. <laughs> Initially, when places were shutting down um, due to COVID, then um, all of this was expected to be back to normal by, like, May or June around that time, which I didn't believe that for a second. Like, I was kind of expecting, like, September or October for us to reach uh, normalcy, normalcy at that point. But now it's, like, November, so... <laughs> And it doesn't look like the situation's getting, like, much better, if anything. So, um, yeah, like, I don't think there's going to be any IRL events until, like, 2022 or something. So, like, I don't really have anything to grind for. I don't really like to play netplay that much anyway. Um, 
I can't really like go and face like any of like go and play with any of like the strong stronger opponents like in person so because of the pandemic anyway but yeah whenever events are back because of like the stuff i mentioned before um i'll probably be only attending majors or like traveling to stuff because i do like in-person interaction i like pe seeing people that i haven't seen in a long time um if i do attend majors then that means that i also probably won't have to be like on one setup for like hours or anything like that or chilling by myself but yeah so the future plans for now um with netplay so i'll probably just continue um helping people in the uh practice discord like warm up for their tournament matches which i've been doing already so most of the ones that y'all have been watching and yeah i also enjoy like spectating um tournaments in general so of course, I'm going to continue spectating those online tournaments. Aside from Twitch chat being Twitch chat, I I don't know. <laughs> Everyone knows what Twitch chat is like. Um, but yeah, in addition to that, I'm also down to like commentate a lot, a lot more if like organizers will have me for their for their events to do commentary. I know. Um, I don't know if like everybody likes my commentary, but I do get positive feedback about it, and it's fun to do. It's fun, like, just kicking it with, the with like, a co-caster and stuff like that. So, if, uh, yeah, if people are trying to have me commentate, then I'm definitely down. I'll probably, probably go around, like, asking for events that I care to watch. And, yeah, with that, uh, speedrunning's also been fun, so I'm definitely going to continue doing that, which is, like, most of what I've been streaming. Um, I haven't really been streaming, like, unranked, unranked netplay because of, like, all of this but who knows maybe i'll go back to it for like specifically for content but for now probably not um i also often get asked like um if get asked uh you know to become a bigger streamer that maybe i should pick up one of like the 10 ish like popular speed runs or people ask like should I? Or uh am I am I planning to or willing to? Which I'll see. There are some games that seem fun to fun to try out, like Mario sixty four, um Super Metroid when I can like commit a lot of time to it. Um Link to the Past, stuff like that. They are interesting games to run, so I would like to see how far I can go with them. Though I'm definitely like late into the game of of speed running, but yeah, it's been a fun experience so far. Learned like what three different games so far. Um, so yeah, continuing. Uh, yeah, once I'm done posting video game music at the end of the year, um, I'll probably be on Twitter a minimal amount because of all the complaining I did just now. So um, most likely I'll just be doing it to like um, tweet about like content I put up. Cause, um, there's a bunch of ideas and unfinished projects that I want to do. So, um, with that, at some point, I'll probably be making a new YouTube channel, which will be specifically for Melee content, because um, I want to make some of my written work into, like, structured videos. So, um, yeah, so stuff like uh, techniques, uh, analysis, uh, guides, and, like, things like that. I'm going to try and, like, put an effort to, like, making some sort of content, because I think there's, like, a... I have a pretty, like, deep pool of, like, game knowledge and also just, like, ideas with the game in general. So, um, hoping that it can, like, be useful if I can, like, make actual, like, good videos. But you're gonna have to go through, like, trial and error to figure that out. Um, also been thinking about, uh, making, <laughs> making a new tag. I've been thinking about that for a while because, um, yeah, my name is, my name is kind of bland, but it's, like, also easy to say so i think it is a good tag but um the way that i have my tag formatted is like not good for like searching and stuff like that so i was thinking about like making it making a new tag um i was gonna do it like i don't know some point after march but then the pandemic happened so i didn't think that changing it like now would be a good time but I don't know when the right time would be, so I might just, like, do it ASAP. Maybe I won't do it. We'll see. 
and uh yeah to wrap up um yeah so to all the supporters fans just homies general chill people i appreciate like the support and encouragement that like everyone's been going through uh going through to help me with and um yeah it's, a lot of this stuff is like something i never could have imagined like even in the first like half decade of me starting to compete melee like i never thought that i would like reach this point in life where that like melee would become something more than like something more than just like you know playing the game and like entering tournaments it's like i don't know huge like wealth of things that have like that have come of it and yeah it's pretty it's pretty dope i i enjoy it a lot but yeah amazing people thank you so much again and yeah with that um couldn't really think of a good way to wrap this up so <laughs> so yeah i appreciate it for watching um yeah i'm sure there'll be like comments and like questions that i need to answer so yeah fire away and i'll do my best i'm usually good about re replying to stuff so yeah uh don't be afraid to ask about anything all right peace out